Hello and welcome to the Digital Insight, the technology, procurement and supply chain podcast that delivers valuable C-level perspective into the core issues surrounding business transformation and digital disruption. Each episode will bring you the most inspiring executive insights from those who are leading transformation strategies within the world's biggest and best known companies. The Digital Insight. Disrupt. Transform. Evolve. Welcome to another episode of the Digital Insight Bite Size, where today we're focusing on cybersecurity. With a recent report indicating that leading retailers across the EU and the US are running outdated applications, leaving them vulnerable to cyber attacks, we ask can you be complacent when it comes to your approach to cybersecurity? Answering this for us today is Stefan Kornakowski of Output 24, a leading cyber assessment company focused on enabling its customers to achieve maximum value from their evolving technology investments. Yeah, and that, well, we, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, uh, I mean, probably yes, because the, it's, uh, it's the way or, you know, have you set up your, you know, uh, your processes, uh, your procedures and how to basically work around security uh, when it comes to web applications. Um, so you will see that most of the time uh, companies will use um, maybe the same third parties or maybe they have their own developers, for example, uh, and they will have ex um, exactly the same people, you know, coding behind it. So, and they will not challenge those, those people and, and they will leave it because of course, of course, everything is, looks nice, you know, everything is working. I mean, security was always, number two i would say or even number three first was obviously you know the ability to being connected to be able to connect to that application and to uh, have uh, you know the, the whole experience for the user i mean you've seen it probably even recently you know during black friday uh, events i mean a lot of websites you know online uh, websites uh, ha had trouble to serve the customers because they were not ready or prepared you know, to, to have the, the, the amounts of connection of traffic to their, to their applications. So when you're not ready for it, and then when you see those issues, what, what does it mean also from a security point of view? Are, are you ready? So it's, so exactly, so it, what you're saying is that we, we're seeing that applications or, or, you know, customers or even, you know, companies that have online presence, they, they tend to forget about uh, you know the basics, and this is exactly what we said in uh, in the first point. That security hygiene is one of the basics of that. Traditionally, such matters would often be placed on the desk of the CIO and the IT teams, but is it their responsibility alone to focus on cybersecurity? There's certainly an argument that the wider organization could be more engaged. Yeah, the awareness is something that is um, kind of an issue here. So when we're talking also to our customers and. Uh, what we're seeing is that there is uh, a difference in terms of information that uh, that is provided to those C levels, and because obviously people don't know, you know, and uh, what we're trying to do in here is to uncover, you know, all those like you mentioned and I mentioned the little doors, yeah, um, that those companies may have. Be because I mean, most of the I mean, most of the hacks, but a lot of the hacks that are happening uh, nowadays uh, are basically from back door. You know, so they're not, they're not going to go from your main website, but if you have that little door on the side. So the, the understanding, you know, of that surface that you have, a lot of companies are, are, are building a lot of applications uh, now, even more because of, you know, people shopping online. So that digital presence, uh, it's important uh, to understand that. And to understand that you need to do those uh, kind of assessments, you need to do discoveries just to make sure that, you know, no one or someone in the company have, you know, put in together a website somewhere and it's currently connected to your main database, you know, and you, that data that you have could be at risk. 2020 has been a year defined by crisis, thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. But what impact has this had on the cybersecurity conversation? Will we remember this year as a defining moment for our approach to security? Well, yeah, so what, what we've seen, and you've seen that too, is that there's been a, a, a large increase in, in online traffic, you know, uh, and so the, the, what we're seeing in here is that those online retail websites have made strong traffic gains due to global, you know, the, that whole global coronavirus pandemic. Yeah? As the, I mean, large part of that population are staying at home now and ordering items online. Which usually normally you normally you will be on the high string, you know, purchasing. So um, 
the what we what we're seeing in here is that it have accelerated. You know, digitalization have accelerated here. Uh, you know, everything to do about security, online security, and what we've seen is that the the speed you know that people need to uh, adapt to is the same as the you know the 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 way the hackers are doing it because they they have the same tools. You know, they they utilize the same tools. They can be very fast in terms of you know seeing you know what you should be seeing. And, uh, and and to be able to find those weaknesses, you know, uh, even before those guys can see them, uh, because you know you need to have controls around that. So the, the continuous ass assessment of those applications will be key, and it, and it's obviously growing. And we're seeing that with our customer base. You know, we we have the, the, the demand around that is very. I mean. I mean, completely, you know, exploded. I would say, I will say, since maybe around April, May, because so obviously March was a little bit of a, you know, a kind of a surprise for every for everyone. So, and and you know, the bad actors are using that also as an excuse, not as an excuse, but I will say they're using that to be able to go after you. I mean, we've seen more attacks, uh, you know, on out there uh, this year than the previous years. And there is a reason for that. I mean, you, even even recently, if you look at it, I mean, the, the bad actors are they were trying to, you know, get hold of the, the, the vaccine, you know, and things like that. So they they're trying anything to disturb. I mean, so all, all it's all about, you know, taking the information, the data, or disturb. So they, they, I don't know what they want to do there, but that's what we that's what we're seeing. So it, it is how to say it, it, it will propel. I mean, it will uh, accelerate. You know. Uh, um, the whole cybersecurity hygiene part, uh, because we need to start somewhere, and uh, because we need to prevent that from happening. Um, so, and, and obviously, we know that resources are tight, and, and you mentioned that, uh, yeah, that uh, um, you know people have been shifted from one department to another. Um, so it's all, it's all about you know that remediation effort. So if you concentrate on what is really important for you, and what are those you know big doors that you have left open. Then you be able to reduce that attack surface and reduce the risk of being compromised. So um, yeah, it definitely done a, 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 a big shift, and we've seen that with our customer base. So what do you think? Do you agree with Stefan that we can all be guilty of complacency when it comes to our cybersecurity? Is it a shared responsibility across the whole organization to understand and manage our cybersecurity approach? And do you think that the cybersecurity conversation has been changed dramatically as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for listening to the Digital Insight Podcast in association with the Interface.net and CPOStrategy.com. The Digital Insight is brought to you by B2E Media Limited. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to subscribe, rate and review. And don't forget to check out our podcast archive at www.b2e-media.com forward slash the digital insight.